In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a custom event, how to search every one tied to a specific event, and then based off of that search list, how to make edits on each of those individuals in a much uh, quicker way than uh, going and pulling up each individual. So the first thing I'm going to show you on this person here, I started using Legacy and when I would record a census event, I would use the event that came with Legacy, which is just titled Census. Since I've been using Legacy, I have found that it makes more sense for me to actually label the census the specific year and uh, location. So 1860 U.S. Census. It might be the 1885 Washington State Census. Because then when you go over to the description, I put the, in the description the household uh, head of household name, then you have the place and any notes. In the generic census, what I was doing was just recording census and the date. In the description, it would be the specific census type, and here it would be the 1870 U.S. Census, and again the, the place and any notes. I have found in, a, in order for me to pull up missing events, people that I have not found in a census, uh, being able to make individual to-dos, that it's much nicer for me to do it in this manner here. So what I want to do is replace all of the ones that I did previous to this method with the current method. So it's not too bad. I can't do a find and replace because this census is going to go to the 1870 U.S. Census event. This census is going to go to the 1880 U.S. Census event. So I can't just simply do a, a search and replace. So this is the method I came up with. So I'm going to cancel out of here. First thing we need to do is make the um, specific events. And to do that, you go to view your master list, and your event definition. And as you can see here in the event definition, I have created specific census events. I've got the 1850 U.S. Census, 1856 Iowa State Census, and I've put them uh, with the year first just so they're chronological and that works for me. What came with Legacy is a census event. So I still have people tied to this census event. As you can see here, I've only done this starting with the 1850 census as I've started using this method. So what I need to do is I need to create some more census events. I need an 1840 census, an 1830, and so on. So I'm going to show you how to do that. To create an event, you just go to Add. You put the description. So in this one, I'm going to do 1840 U.S. Census. And for this event, I do want a description, date, and place field. So I will leave those checked. I click Save. And it populates there. And you only need to do that one time. And then it's available for you to use in the list. So that's how you create the events. Now, what I want to do is clean up the people that are still using this old census event. So from the master event definition list, I can click on census and over here is a button called show list. And that when I click that, it will give me a list of everybody that has at least one event that uses that census name. So what I could do from here is click each individual and I can edit the individual and then it'll take me to their screen, go through their census, edit each event, but that's going to take a long time and um, I don't want to do it that way. There's a much better way. So I'll cancel out of there. What I need to do is create um, a list that I can work off of. So I'm going to create a search list and I'm going to create a new search list. And within Legacy, you can have one active search list uh, going at all times. So I'm going to create this new search list. And I'm going to close out of here and close out of here. And when I do, it says, would you like to show the search results? And yes, I would. 
And this is one way to do it. Uh, there is another way to pull up a search list for all the people using the census event, but um, this is really the quickest way. So then what you get is um, a screen really with um, two sides to it. The left hand side is everybody that was in that list that has at least one event that uses the census um, event. And then over on the right side <coughs> you will see lots of tabs and I'll just click on a couple. You can go into the edit screen. Uh, you can see their family sources, but there's one for events. So I can pull up Mary Angeline Kite's events right here. And then when I click down, I will see each person's events right here without having to click through each individual's edit screen. And this, this is just a great way to go through your database, especially when you want to clean things up because you've entered them, started off doing it one way and then went to a different way. So I'll start here um, with Harry McGee. I will open up. This is just a generic census event, so I want to change it. So I just double click. It will take me to the um, event edit screen. And really all I have to do is change a couple of fields. So this is a 1920 U.S. Census. So I'm going to change the event title to the 1920 U.S. Census. And then in the description, I erase that, I will put the household that that person was found in. And then I used to put that in the title or uh, the first line of my notes, and I just delete that now. And then as you can see at the bottom, it shows me the sentence, 1920 U.S. Census, and the household and where the location was and then all the transcription of the um, census uh, lines and click Save. Now he has been changed and it's in the format I want and then I simply click the next one and I'm gonna edit this one double clicking the census event opens it up it's 1910 again find my 19 oh, make sure you put the right year find the 1910 census. That description I no longer want. I do want the household. Type that in and then I delete and save. And there's one more on this person. Double click. Opens up the event um, edit screen. This is a 1900. So that way I don't have to really go through a lot of trouble. This goes pretty quick. Change. And then I would just keep going down the line. Now you may not have time to do all this in one sitting, depending how many people you're, you're changing. So what you can do is, since I've now changed some of them, now my list isn't as long as it used to be. Um, notice that the people still stay there. So what you can do is close this down and if you were coming back to it you could actually go to the search and go to find and that's going to open up the um, search window. There we go. And on the detailed search tab, if you do individual with event name equal to census, that will pull up the same search as we did basically in the um, event definition master list. And I can create a new list. And you want to make sure that clear list before the search has been um, checked because your list is still active. Legacy always keeps the last list you used active. So you want to clear that so you get the old names off. So I'll create the list. And it's going to go through and do that search. And then it's going to bring that um, search list window up. And we will see that, oh, I didn't edit her. Some of the people are no longer there that we edited. So they've been cleaned up. And then you can just keep working on your list. But this is a really fast way to edit things. Um, the, again, you can be on the edit screen and do um, 
basically real quick edits or just even viewing just by clicking and looking and you can make changes and that way you don't have to go in and out of the um, family view. I hope you found this video useful.